Oh, y'all, I'm so beat. <sighs> I really am. I overworked myself. And I almost want to say it's not worth it. I worked with a lot of harsh chemicals. I should be using the mask that I have at home. My poor eyes, you know, I could be using some safety goggles when working with these harsh chemicals and cleaning. Such intense cleaning. You know, I'm pretty mindless and careless with my cells and my body in that disregard. Or should I say in regard? <laughs> uh, I had an uncomfortable situation today where a friend of mine used the bathtub to bathe his son and there was an injury made to the property that I am renting. So I had to be honest and take responsibility for my mistake. And we will see what the repercussions are. Real fun, you know? It's more emotionally upsetting than anything else, you know? Because, like, I trusted someone and they kind of invaded my space by, you know, granting damage. Oh, what can I do but learn from it? So I am moving on with my life. And I am in contemplative process of going to New Orleans. And that's rather exciting for me right now. <laughs> It'll be just for a short while. I just finished a cleaning job back in the first city that I had a job up here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm still in the middle of my process, like I'm still processing the information, you know, within myself. But God's a comedian and I'm very clearly doing God's work. And not cues, <laughs> presumptually not cute. <laughs> I have enjoyed working with all of you. Many of you have offered me great support in times like now when I am weak and struggling. I need all the resources I can get right now. So I'm bundling up and investing towards my future there's many of you who have been living your lives through me, watching me flourish, and you have been a great part of my flourishment, and therefore, you are, like, watering my seed and nourishing me so that I can grow and expand, and you are trusting in me to invest in myself and be wise in my decisions. And man, thank you so much for being an assistant to my happiness, right? An agent to my happiness. Wow, wow, wow. And some of you have been using me as an agent to your happiness. And you can see that. And I have struggled greatly with boundaries. That is the shadow of all of this. The boundaries of knowing our limits. Being able to tell people no. And nicely and kindly and with love and respect and unity all around. One must be graceful and grateful. Gratitude takes away all stress. It depends on your framework, your narrative, your story that you're telling yourselves, yourself, your body, your subconscious. Are you framing it saying, wow, I worked so hard today? Are you saying, yes, I earned a great rest. I have more energy to go. I really need some fresh air.
riding along and co-creating with him. <laughs> like, I, like, I have no reason to be going. I'm just tagging along. And we're just going for fun, it seems. I have brought, um, some paperwork. I have a lot of paperwork to focus on. A lot of numbers, a lot of sorting, categories. You know, I've been doing accounting my whole life since I was a little girl. And so now it's kind of ironic to be running my own business and being my own boss and having to take responsibility for myself and my business. And it's been amazing learning and blooming. Blooming! I am blooming from the wound where I once bled. Hmm. My weak point becoming one of my strongest points. All of my pains in my body I am now giving acknowledgement to. Things I have suppressed for so long. Oh man. I just simply have to surrender and not judge and allow people their own process. Oh. I'm a big believer in a second opinion. Please, before you make any decisions, maybe get like five different opinions, different circles. Ask a stranger even. I bet you they'll give you their time and attention. If you just simply say, hey, could I please? And maybe they say no. Or maybe they give you an answer that you're not satisfied with. So ask another stranger. Get used to rejection. Get used to being comfortable being uncomfortable. So that way you can always be comfortable with growth and expanding your awareness. I've been working so much with essential oils, uplifting my own emotional body. After working with so many harsh chemicals, the first thing I did when I came to my car is pour on as much of my essential oil as I could, you know, without feeling guilty that I, or like feeling like I'm wasting, you know. <coughs> like I'm not taking it all at once, you know, like do a few drops now, I'm doing a few drops now, and, you know, I did a few, a few earlier. Um, I like to put them directly on my lymph nodes know to let my nervous system absorb them but after working with those harsh chemicals and what I have right now is peppermint peppermint is good for the heart so I love waking up my nervous system with some of that Instant gratification and comfort. 
proof. I am the witness who can watch these things and notice myself reacting to these things. Without holding attachment to any of the stories, noticing that I can change it. That I don't have to act those ways in the future after I notice what my awareness was not on before. And sometimes we have to go through that same awareness and that same problem a few times until we fully choose to resolve and no longer experience that experience. We have to give ourselves permission to grow and integrate and be uncomfortable until we are comfortable with what was once uncomfortable. Mm. I have been spending a great amount of time meditating and in reflection. Select individuals, brat mouse included. Brat mouse, I know I'm putting you on stage right now. But sometimes this is the only way for you to really hear me. And if I could make sure that you were hearing me now, I would tell you how I love and care about you. And how I apologize for my impulsive behaviors and emotional responses. However, I'd be willing to hold a space of grace and communication. And I'm thinking private sessions for you. And maybe I'll work out a deal like 300 bucks a month and then like that will include, you know, three emails and one phone call or I don't know, you know. I imagine each thing would be tailored differently to another person. But I find you to be quite the artist and I am willing to still work with you. Despite our issues in the past where you basically are shooting yourself in the foot. <laughs> and then biting the hand that feeds you. <laughs> but I also recognize that I too bit the hand that feeds me too, you see? <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful thing? Yes. So, my precious ones. Here we are, in space and time. Together now, no matter what time, you may be connecting to this, or maybe re-listening to this a few times, who knows. I completely 
expose myself, and even then, I can't necessarily trust everyone, and sometimes, telling the truth, people can use those truths against you to get what they desire, and sometimes people are predatory on your fears, and they get off on stealing your energy and your attention, and any type of resources that you have to offer, and sometimes people don't even mean to, you know, it's just that they simply have a need, and you simply have their fix, and they just have a subconscious attachment to, and therefore... Uh, sometimes you just end up caught up in other people's processes because of their codependent tendencies or of their unrealistic expectations or their inability to handle their process on their own that or sometimes we just are meant to grow together I mean there's so many different depths here I'm passing a really beautiful bridge let's see what I can do I can't help but like, you know, want to pay it back, you 
know? But I lack faith and belief in myself and my own embodiment, so sometimes I can't even hold that space for somebody else that has it in me, you know? So be gentle and be patient with yourself, you know? I'm just a reflection of you and everybody else, and everyone has been where I've been before they grew anywhere greater. I'm no greater than anyone else. I don't really know anything. All I know is what I have been through. And all I can share with you is what I have been through. And in many ways, I have made mistakes. I am by no means a perfect human being. Perhaps perfectly imperfect. I am perfectly Trina. And constantly building myself the way that I find to be correct to my ethics and my morals and my justification for my reason of being. My, <laughs> my payment for being here on the planet. He means so much to me. And because you are me. And you are divine. And we are all consciousness and we are all one. space. I'm cleaning up my 
myself so much and I'm taking care of other people's mess and sometimes doing that helps me figure out how to take care of my own mess you know like I wouldn't have been going through that mess if I didn't like you know take on someone else's stuff but then it helps me learn to deal with my own stuff like sometimes dealing with someone else's stuff is easier sometimes you can mess someone else up you know because they delegated their responsibilities to you to take responsibility for them but really you're struggling to take responsibility for yourself and sometimes people can see that you're struggling to take responsibility for yourself and will still give you the responsibility of them to you and let you run yourself into the dirt. So you have to know your boundaries because some people just don't know any better. You have to have compassion and understanding and respect and empathy. <coughs> compassion. <coughs> and I have to have compassion for myself for <coughs> inhaling all those chemicals, man. I need to really treat myself better to give myself some better baths and uh, really take better care of myself nourish myself more really love myself really exercise more that's more of the bigger things you know that's the biggest thing of all that I need to do that is the best amount of work you want to work for a living no if you have all the money in the world exercise channel all of your energy and freaking love your body man no amount of money can buy your health it all costs your energy, your energetic investment. If you're not taking care of your emotional, mental, and physical body, what about your spiritual body? You gotta harness all of this, man. It's the only thing you own. It's the only thing you have power over, really. And if you can take responsibility for that, man, you could literally change the whole world. You could change your whole life. But you gotta recognize this. I'm giving you love, and unfortunately, you know, my story, the way that my story normally goes, the way that I'm familiar with it, is that I don't get any value, no respect, no pot of gold until I'm dead. Which is great because please take care of my children. Please, please let them feast upon the foundations that I have built. Let them, let them have cake, right? <laughs> but don't let them be so spoiled, you know, let them know my struggle. But also, you know, it's hard. It's hard, you know? It's so hard. <laughs> no amount of money can buy experience. I mean, it's so complicated. And some people can pay for certain experiences. There's all this gray area and all this space and knowledge. And you're just not asking questions or giving yourself permission for the answer to come. You know, you're not creating a space to receive the data. You know, you're not believing that it's possible to receive the data that you think that you're seeking. You think that it's impossible, but impossible spells I'm possible. If you can pay attention, knowledge isn't free, you know? Pay attention, accept what you cannot change. <clears throat> Man, the back of my throat really hurts from in ingesting all these chemicals. Here, let me, uh, let me really breathe some of this in. Let's do something. Breathe in this plant medicine instead. really grateful. I have a lot of reading I'd like to do. I could read in the car. I could listen to seminars. I don't know, man. I'm thinking a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Very sensitive. Very sensitive. I can't believe Jen's doing this. This is great. It's pretty great. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> I think we're going to picnic. I'm going to bring the food. I'm going to bring some food that I have so my food doesn't go bad. And I really wish I had a big, giant cooler. Like, I'm not trying to buy any more material stuff, you know, because I'm trying to, like, condense my experience. But, um, yeah, I could, uh, I could use some know-how, you know? That's probably the most valuable thing you could ever pay me with. If you can pay me in some valuable know, some valuable know-how, like how to keep food cold without having a frozen thing, right? <laughs> I'm just using that as an example. And I mean, like, sincerely valuable stuff, not like TMI about this celebrity, blah, blah, blah. You know, sincere, vital information for survival, especially about your body, the emotional, physical, spiritual. Like, yeah, if you can enlighten me and feed me any of that, please send me an email on just, like, some of your thoughts. And I would just love to read your thoughts. And, uh, you know, if you insist on having a reply, you know, I'm thinking about creating a... Uh, a $5 a reply email thing. <laughs> I 
just because there's like so many people that take up so much of my time in my day and like there's just some people that just take take and take and I really struggle with boundaries you know so if you can like you know pay five bucks for me to respond to your email at least the first few ones you know and show that you actually really value my time you know that that would help just saying I'm more likely to answer you you know just saying I'm gonna create a store online store that's going to be like professional way of receiving all this and you know I've been really struggling with learning the professional way to be human basically you know what I mean where I'm opening Consciousness, 